Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today for our featured program, A Musical Journey on the Seine River. Share with us music from village churches to great cathedrals, with sights along the Seine River from Paris to the Normandy beaches. Thank you for joining us. The new church of St. Honoré in Paris, found in the 16th arrondissement, was constructed in 1896. Of special note in the church are the notable stained glass windows of the saints and the striking architecture of the Arc Bouton and Colonnades. The grand organ of St. Honoré de Lau in Paris was built in 1897 by Charles Moutin, the successor of Caballé Cole, the great French organ builder. From Paris, the capital of France, the gentle decline in the level of the Seine gives birth to a broad river of majestic flow and absolute calmness. The river Seine is now fully navigable. Between wooded banks and chalk cliffs, through a superb valley whose subtle inflections of light inspired the great impressionist painters and poets.
Our musical journey on the Seine takes us on to Les Andelys, known especially for Chateau Gaillard and two magnificent churches. Perched high on a rock set back from the Seine in its first major loop inside Normandy, the ruins of Chateau Gaillard recall the war at the end of the 12th century, when Richard the Lionheart, King of England, fought Philippe Auguste, King of France, for the possession of the region. It is a masterpiece of military architecture with a layout that resembles the forts built by the Crusaders in the Holy Lands, and high walls that are five meters thick in places. Les Andelys is one of the picturesque towns found along the Seine River. Along with its other treasures, it is the birthplace of the painter Nicolas Poussin. It is set in a romantic way, attracting the attentions of Victor Hugo and his Scottish counterpart, Sir Walter Scott, who both stayed here. In Grand Andelys, the Collegiate Church of Notre Dame was built between the 13th and 18th centuries. It combines a variety of architectural styles. The facade is Gothic, whereas the portal is Renaissance. It was there that the saintly Clotilde, wife of the Frankish king Clovis, is reputed to have transformed water into wine. Thanks to her, Clovis was converted to Christianity. The Collegiate Church also houses one of the great organs of France, a Cavier coal organ of the 1800s.
From Les Andelys, we travel by land to Evreux, a picturesque town with its landmark cathedral and famous Corin organ. The Notre Dame Cathedral of Evreux, France is a Roman Catholic cathedral and a national monument. The lower portions of the nave date back to the 11th century, and the two towers from the Renaissance period, the North Portal and Transept in flamboyant Gothic and late 15th century tower and spires. Standing above the cathedral nave is one of the great new organs of France. We travel from Evreux to Cotebec en Co, a small town situated on the Seine. The main attraction of the village is the massive Cotebec Cathedral, which towers over the town. Along with the exterior and interior treasures, we find the impressive great organ from the early 16th century. The present organ of the Notre Dame Church in Cotebec includes four manuals and 42 registers. Although the first organ of the church dates back to 1542, the instrument has been renovated and restored over the years. The organ has a unique sound and is today a monumental organ of radiant splendor.
Cathedral of Cotebec, Hong Kong was built in the 15th and 16th centuries. King Henry IV of France is said to have declared this church to be the most beautiful chapel in his kingdom. The fact that it does not have a transept may explain why the king referred to it as a chapel and not a church. Typical of the flamboyant Gothic style, the highlight of the church is the finely decorated west portal. In all, there are 333 sculptured human figures representing saints and aspects of daily life. Of particular interest is the figure playing an old Norman musical instrument, a kind of bagpipe that is no longer played in Normandy. Our journey on the Seine River takes us to Rouen in the north part of France. It is the capital of Upper Normandy and the historic capital of Normandy. The Seine River was key to Rouen's development into one of France's greatest ports down through the century. <music> We are standing now in Rouen Cathedral Square. Here we follow the Rue de Gros Horloge, the busiest street in the center of town. On top of a gate straddling the pedestrian precinct, you'll see Rouen's own remarkable Big Ben, built in 1527 to 29. The clock has only one hand counting the hours, with a window in the lower half which follows the week while an upper opening traces the phases of the moon.
There are many churches of note here in Rouen. The Church of Saint Maclou in Rouen is a treasure of flamboyant Gothic architecture. The church stands in one of the most beautiful historic quarters of Rouen, characterized by picturesque timber-framed houses. In the Saint Maclou church stands one of the great organs of Normandy. My name is Diane Bish, and I thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, with music from historic towns, cathedrals, and churches along the way. Thank you for joining us.